David Irwin, happy 420 day to you. Thanks for being here. Happy 420 day to you, Frank, and hopefully everybody gets a 420 later on to drink, okay? <laughs> I'M GLAD YOU DIDN'T MISS THAT OPPORTUNITY TO PROMOTE. SO, ARWIN, WE'RE GOING TO HAVE YOU HERE TALKING ABOUT GLOBAL <laughs> CANNABIS, uh, CANNABIS AND CONSUMER PACKAGED GOODS LIKE THAT 420 BEER AND A COUPLE OTHER TOPICS. BUT FIRST, LET'S TALK ABOUT THE PROPOSED MERGER BETWEEN AFRIA AND TILRAY. TILRAY VOTERS, um, THEY BASICALLY PUNTED. THEY'RE GOING TO HAVE THEIR FINAL VOTE ON APRIL 30TH. YOUR SHAREHOLDERS, THEY VOTED OVERWHELMINGLY IN FAVOR OF THE MERGER. WHERE DO YOU THINK THE MERGER STANDS TODAY IN YOUR MIND? So, number one, our shareholders, you know, 99% voted in favor. Glass Lewis, ISS, come out and recommended the deal on both sides. I don't think, you know, Tilray shareholders at all punted. It's just today with retail shareholders out there and apathy in voting, it's going to take a little longer in regards to getting the vote done. Um, we will get the vote done. I'm very confident of that. And as I've said before, you know, the merger of the two companies will be great for sh both sets of shareholders. And, you know, Vivian talked about, you know, raising her targets out there and the opportunities in cannabis. Um, I think I see tremendous, tremendous synergy, savings, growth. And when legalization does happen, um, the new Tilray will be ready to make a major entry into the U.S. markets. You know, Tilray and Afria shares, they both doubled year to date. A lot of excitement about that proposed merger. One of the things you talked about was the global cannabis market and the, the opportunities there. But today, 90% of the global cannabis markets in North America, the U.S. and Canada. Where do you see growth beyond North America? So, you know, great question, you know, Frank. I look at Europe. I, you know, medical cannabis in Europe is, is major today in Germany and Portugal and Spain, London uh, or U.K. and France. So, number one, I see tremendous opportunity in medical cannabis in Europe. I also see legalization happening in Germany. I see it happening in Portugal. I see it happening in Israel. I see it happening in Deutschland. You know, I've come out and said this here. You may see legalization happen in Europe before you see it in the U.S. And the thing about the combination of a free and Tilray, you know, the combination of the two of us will be well over a few billion dollars in sales. We'll be the largest cannabis company in sales in the world. And with that, when the U.S. opens up, we will be ready to come into it with our knowledge, you know, with our balance sheet, with our ability to grow and our ability to market our brands. And, Frank, we have some incredible brands, some incredible strains, some incredible potency, gone through, you know, the regulatory in Canada. So once the U.S. legalizes and it decides if it's a one-tier system, two-tier system, three-tier system, what company is better positioned than Tilray to be a leader in the U.S. market? Warren, that's actually a great question. We just had Vivian Azer from Cowan on. She said their best pick is Green Thumb Industries, a multi-state operator here in the U.S. And the consensus really is that those multi-state operators would have a head start against Canadian operators if full legalization happens here in the U.S. How do Canadian operators catch up when these U.S. operators, they already have a pretty developed supply chain. In many cases, they have dispensaries and grow licenses already set up in the U.S. So you just said it. They have grow licenses. They have dispensaries. They are multi-state, but we still do not know what legalization looks like. Does it become like the liquor industry or the alcohol industry where you only are, you know, one multi-level? You don't know. And with the size of the new Tilray, with our balance sheet, listen, there's a lot out there for us to buy. There's a lot out there for us to merge with that we will be a global company. And if you come back and look at the multi-states, you know, there's a lot of competition here in the U.S., but when you have the foothold that we have throughout Europe, you have the foothold that we have within Canada, you know, with our Tilray, you know, beer business and our Manitoba harvest, we will be well, you know, instilled into consumer products that can parlay into cannabis. There's going to be lots of opportunities. And Frank, the problem is today, you don't know what legalization is going to look like when we do legalize. So I'd rather pay more and have a good view of what legalization will be and what it'll look like and look to the partner that we want to be a part of. Erwin, it's Morgan. I'm curious, given the fact that Canada was so far ahead, at least ahead of the U.S. in terms of legalization, I mean, there's been a lot of hiccups and a lot of challenges within the market. It's affected quite a number of the Canadian cannabis companies in general. What are the lessons to be learned there? So that's, that's a great question, because think about the lessons that we've learned in Canada and now we can parlay them into the U.S. market once legalization happens. You know, there was too many to grow. Um, there was over 500 licenses given out. There's multiple brands. 
there was a slow start on opening stores, in the way you could advertise the product, you know, the Canadian government, you know, um, stopped a lot of that. So with that, listen, to, uh, Afria today is the largest cannabis company in Canada. With the combination of the two companies, we'll have close to a 20% market share. You know, my objective is to grow us to a 30% market share. The other thing is, as we look to enter into, you know, edibles and drinks and other products, um, the knowledge what we have learned over the last three years and to be able to bring that into the U.S. will be tremendous for us. And again, you know, it's the unknown out there. We keep talking about Safe Bank Act, and you heard what Vivian said, there'll be changes mm -hmm. to that. We keep talking about legalization. We don't know what legalization will look like once it does happen. Shepard Smith here. Thanks for watching CNBC on YouTube.